and we are in search of the triple arch. Hopefully we find it. Maybe three miles in and starting to slot up and look really, really beautiful. This is cool. Yeah, we don't want to go that way. Straight forward for the first, what, three miles? And then... It's definitely wayfinding. Yeah. It's not a clear path. No. There are some cairns here and there, if you spot them, but it's just kind of get up any way you can. Yeah, you have to be comfortable not having a clearly marked trail. And with some scrambling, it, a little bit of, it's not like technical, but it could be a little uncomfortable in spots. And so far, once we went up this canyon, you don't stay down in the canyon, you're up. Canyon's down there. We're up on the side. Right. Of course, we haven't found it yet, so we could be completely lost. <laughs> we'll find out. fall no you hero hope and I would fall <laughs> I was not I, yes you were I do not want to carry you back from here and I don't want to have to start dating again Arch. I don't know where the third one is. It's a pothole. Go back to the right.
oh, that's Triple Arch Trail in the gold fields right next to the Superstitions. It's about a nine mile hike out and back. It says there's about a thousand feet of elevation gain and loss. I, I'm not sure because it all depends on what trail you take. There's a ton of trails out here. You can make a loop, you can get lost. There, I have not seen a single trail sign. So you definitely want to get the trail, read a beta, mark it on your GPS, know where you're going. If you know which trail to stay on, first three miles is pretty straightforward, but then you can either go left or right, looking up canyon. Go around this big rock formation. The arch is on the other side. Now, when we went in, we went to the left, really steep incline, difficult wayfinding. You've got to know what you're doing to get around there uh, alive because there's not really a well-defined trail. Kind of pick what you're comfortable with. Steep climb, get to the top of the saddle, drop back down in the next valley, and there's the arch. Now, coming from this way, we actually walked past the arch in the valley, and then there was a social trail going up to the left. Took that up really steep, and you saw the video. The arch is really cool. Call it the triple arch, I thought, because the two arches, I don't really call them arches, up on top of it, but I saw what looked like another arch down below it. Honestly, none of them was super impressive. The main arch was beautiful, so just checked it out. Dropped back down into the valley, decided we would go around the other side to join back up, so we sort of made like a mini loop where we turned off. Now, this side, you don't have all the climb up, but there's a lot of boulder obstacles. I think if you didn't have some experience scrambling and maybe canyoneering, you might get a little nervous going this way. But you know, you've seen the video, so, so you can judge for yourself which way is best for you. Aside from that, coming out, just ran into this really cool random cave. Check that out, no idea what that's about. And that's it, we're heading out. Got about three miles to get to the truck and then it's Mexican food. Of course it's Mexican food. What did you think of Triple Arch Trail? I thought it was pretty good. Pretty decent challenge um, for the mind and body. <laughs> couple puzzles. Yeah, I think it was good. So what do you want to do now? Mexican food, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Lead the way, let's get there fast. Go faster. <laughs> look cool. I said look cool. <laughs> Say in your way. <laughs> I kept walking, that's what you always want me to do. Yeah, I didn't mean for you to like, <laughs> check me. <laughs> you messed up my shot, I was I gonna... Are you guys giving me a warning? You should know the cues by now. Like, we should be of one mind, like a symbiotic being. We <laughs> got off the trail for you. <laughs> it's pretty. Such an idiot. <laughs> there you go. And, uh, GoPro turn off. GoPro power off. GoPro stop recording. It would be easy to get lost. You can always follow the red arrows. I'm taking the saddle down. There's a huge camp. Why? Why is that there? This trail just got more adventurous. Where's Arrow Man? There's no arrows, we're lost. Arrow here, and an arrow there. You're not gonna accidentally climb that, or that. It's obviously down the canyon. I, I think you probably think you're being helpful, but um, your arrows, it's illegal. They're spaced horribly. They're put in obvious locations. They're not in places that aren't obvious. If I were out here trying to get to where we were going just by following your arrows, there's no way I'd get there. Leave it to the Forest Service. If it's not labeled, reason is, it's an advanced hike. And you don't want a beginner hiker to get out and get in trouble. 
so you work up to it. I'm not being elitist, I'm not saying you can't hike this stuff, but if you can't find it without arrows, you shouldn't be doing it yet. Work up to it. So, arrow person, stop it.